I'm going to try and start some Cape Gooseberries and um, our Peruvian Crown Cherries. They're different than um, Aunt Molly's or the Pineapple Tomatillo. They're a different variety of Crown Cherry. They're much larger. The berry is much larger. Um, the plant's much larger. And the taste is a hundred times better. So I have seeds that I saved from ones that I bought at the store that were dried. Um, at first I was like, oh yeah, I'll get some seeds. But then I was like, wait, they probably dried that with like an industrial drying process that probably killed all the seeds. Um, but I'm going to try anyway. I'm going to use at least this many and do a couple. And then I have some that um, I bought that I'm going to do at least one with. So at least these will grow because this is the variety that I want and you can't get it around here otherwise. I'm almost sure that uh, these aren't viable. I can, you can almost tell um, the color is more orange than these, so I think these have been heated too much. These are the ones that I know are viable, so I'm going to use these. So at least I'll have a couple that I can get from this little little um, seed starting tray of the ones that I at least want. Do the same thing with some goji berries. Hopefully these seeds will not be cooked and dead as well. But if they are, well, if they aren't, then hey, for goji berry plants, I'm going to try to get at least a couple seedlings out of that. I have them numbered because I'm having all this other stuff doing, and I um, just number it and put it on here so that I don't have to make a bunch of labels that will come off and stuff. It's just, it's just easier that way. This is something I am excited to grow, the Chichi Kelite Huckleberry. Uh, it is um, type of, kind of like a type of um, black night shape, but it's, there's all kinds of, of these type of garden huckleberry plants, and some are a little more edible than others. This one is cultivated to be a lot more edible in the raw stage. The berries still have to be really ripe, but even the stalks and things, I think when they're first starting to grow, people harvest them and eat them, especially in, um, West Africa. Like, I think, uh, originally this variety was from West Africa, and then brought to Mexico where it was cultivated more, and this is how it is. It's more of a tomato type plant than a huckleberry, which is more like a blueberry, so it's not really a huckleberry at all. I don't know why they call it the garden huckleberry, but I guess it's because if they called it garden nightshade or something, people may not want to eat it, I suppose. Real small. Look almost like a ground cherry or a tomato or a tomatillo seed or something, so you can tell they're kind of related. Very small though. Put them in here and just sort of slightly press them in. And hopefully that'll work. I'll cover them with some plastic wrap here. Interesting thing I'm going this year is the uh, pepino melon. It's pretty much like a Another type of like pepper, tomato kind of plant, but it makes this like fruit that tastes kind of like cucumber, honeydew cross. So I'm going to plant that in here. Next I want to do um, current tomatoes. Um, plants don't really uh, grow that well in the uh, tomato family where I live, at least not in my backyard. Deer tend to eat them. Disease gets them. We have a lot of cloudy days, not a lot of sunshine sometimes. And I've just noticed that uh, things with smaller fruit, like the cherry varieties and things like smaller peppers and things tend to uh, do better maybe because it doesn't need as much energy to put into smaller fruit. I don't know. It just seems to work better. Well, these are more um, like wild tomatoes, I think, than regular tomatoes. So they're supposedly more disease resistant. Um, I think they're probably healthier for you too. This skin is a lot thicker and um, the nutrients are more dense in them. So I have two different kinds. This one is the spoon tomato variety from Baker Creek. And this one just is the plain, it just says plain red currant. It's not sweet pea or anything like that that I know of. Um, it just says red currant and it's from um, Burpee. So I'm gonna do a couple here and a couple in here. They're just really, really super small tomato seeds. Just like any other tomato seed, they're just really small. I must say, uh, <laughs> you do get a lot more at the Burpee. I think this was like $7, but you get at least 60 seeds. 
this says like 15 seats for three dollars and it really is like just 15 seats so I think uh, burpee was a much better deal but this might be a better type of variety or a better plant so we'll just see this plant I want to start early and have one of is this pepper Marasaki purple um, it's a purple plant and then as the, the peppers ripen they turn red it's just like a sweet pepper some people said they don't like the pit taste and some people said they really do I'm obsessed with um, all things dark purple plant wise so I'm going to grow it they're just like normal pepper seeds so I'm just gonna put a couple like maybe three or four in this little pot so um, that's all I'm gonna do I have them over here getting ready I'm just gonna put this in um, the hot room in my house and wait for them to sprout along with um, my potato plants that I started